Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is probably here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the best way to do a screen record or record your screen on a Samsung Galaxy device. And it also works even if you go inside of applications like YouTube or any other music streaming services, which usually the majority of the third party apps does not allow you to. And you're also able to make it super easy and put a shortcut on your home screen. But before we go inside of this little application, if you guys are brand new here at the channel, of Jimmy as promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out the entire playlist I've made so far for the Galaxy S10 series. So the application that we'll be talking about today is one that's simply called Record Screen, but there is a place that you're able to download this first. So it's not inside of the Play Store and it's also not a part of the Galaxy Essentials. So what you are searching for is an application that is called Nice Shot. So Nice Shot is actually a part and it's inside of GoodLock 2019. So if you already have GoodLock 2019, then you are good to go. If you're in a different country, you're not able to download GoodLock 2019, just simply download a VPN. And then once you place yourself in a different country or a different area, your phone doesn't know where you are, turn off your phone, turn it back on, then you're able to download GoodLock. But here in the United States, it's very simple. All you have to do is go inside of your application tray, on the very top, click on the more settings or more options, go to Galaxy Essentials, and then inside of your search, inside of uh, basically Galaxy Essentials, just search for Good Lock, and you'll find Good Lock 2019. Once you have this one downloaded and opened, these are all applications that's made by Samsung for Samsung, uh, and you're gonna find this application here that is called Nice Shot. So once you go inside of Good Lock, go down to Nice Shot. Once you go inside of here and it's downloaded and installed, this is your main menu. Now, it's very simple. You never really have to go back this far into an application to ever do your screen recording again. As you've seen at the beginning of this video, you can save it to a, a home screen as a shortcut. But first, go through these settings. You can exclude your system UI, so it's basically hiding indicators and also the navigation bar. If you do a share via, which means you, you shared, you, you basically recorded something and then you shared it right after the fact, because maybe that was the only purpose, you didn't need to keep it, it's able to download or basically delete the file after it's shared. So right here is where you want to go to your screen recording for all the different quality. So you want to go to the very top, go to record sound, and you want it to be set for the middle option here, uh, which you can't really see, but it's called system sounds because maybe you don't need to have your mic. If you need both, you can uh, have it download the system sound along with your mic if you need to speak over top of it, but I'm gonna choose the middle option. The next one is your video quality. You have low, medium, and high. So I'm gonna place mine on high. Then this tag menu is nice. What's gonna happen with nice shot is if you take a screenshot, um, which I'll show you that here in just a second, you'll see a tag menu, um, and it's also gonna show you a record button. So with tag menu, you might as well just have it right there. It's You can have it recommended. Uh, let's say that you added in a tag that you titled it pets, um, or maybe you have a specific pet that's named Zeus, that you can add in a tag that says Zeus, and maybe you have another dog that's named Athena, then you can name Athena if you record a video of that dog, um, then this way you'd be able to have everything, you know, separated and easy to find with a tag. So this right here is the very last thing that I'm going to talk about. Really the most important thing is screen recording with the quality and then adding the shortcut. Once you hit add shortcut, it'll add this little thing right here. Now, first, let me show you what happens if you don't add the shortcut to your home screen. Let's say that I was to take a screenshot of what I'm looking at. What it's going to do is it's going to add these two things, video and tag. If you hit on the video thing, now it's going to start recording your video. You can go through everything you need to go through and you can show people your settings like, hey, you need to go to your uh, settings and click on sounds and vibrations and scroll down and go inside of here. And basically, when you're all done helping them out, you hit on the done button. But the thing that's kind of stupid is when you took a screenshot, it also saved the screenshot right there. So if you click on screenshots, not only do you have one, uh, <laughs> what photo is that? That is, <laughs> it was pitch black. I took a, a selfie with the flash and it was super bright and I was tired. Anyways, this is what's going to pop up, but you don't need that. Uh, really all you want is your, your video that you recorded, which is going to be right here for your video screenshots. 
So to kind of save you that mess of a screenshot um, that also came along with this video that you recorded. So here we go, it's gonna do its own thing. It's, it's like a ghost is moving the phone. Look how cool this is. Uh, and the quality is just fantastic. So all you would have to do is because you have the shortcut saved to your home screen, then you click on that it's gonna start recording automatically. You can, I mean, I don't know why and how this is allowed, but I'm inside of um, YouTube and let's say that you're watching a video and, and you're checking this out and you need to send this to somebody. Um, I cannot believe, but it is recording something on YouTube and it's also saving the audio with it, which I think is still pretty crazy. Third party applications does not allow for this because I don't have the copyright issue to record something on YouTube, but nonetheless, this is what it is. You hit on, you, you hit on done. Woo, okay, let's stop that. So even though you don't hear anything as it's recording, uh, if you go inside of your gallery, you go to your video screenshots, that is the album title. And then when you go inside of here and you hit on play video, then you're gonna get all of the audio that comes with whatever you're recording. So if you are playing a game, it'll record the gameplay audio. Uh, but with YouTube, you can see that it's recording the sound. So I'm going to turn that down and how about we head over into a game. So one of the games I like to play is golf battle. So let's say that you go into golf battle, um, but first off, let's start recording. So you hit record. Uh, we're going to go back inside of golf battle. And so now you're going to be able to play a game. You can shoot this. Uh, you can put up on, on YouTube. You can do whatever you want to. So if you wanted to show people your little gameplay uh, and, and you don't want to find third party applications or whatever you're looking for, just open up this application. It's, it's just super simple and it looks exactly like the gameplay. So let's say, let me go up over here. I'm just going to play this for just a couple seconds. Uh, you can also see that there's no audio that comes with this. So I'm just gonna get out and hit stop. So if you go back over inside your gallery and you go into your video uh, screenshots, you hit on play. Let's say that we go into the game here. So now you can hear uh, the audio that comes with the gameplay and it looks fantastic. The quality is amazing. It, it looks just like I was playing. So this is literally one of the best screen recorder options you can do on a Samsung phone. Um, and it doesn't, limit you with whatever you do. I'm still 100% surprised, and there's probably gonna be an update to this, that you're able to go into YouTube Music and hit record. Uh, you go to YouTube, hit record, but it's fantastic that you can do it in any screen possible, even everything through you know the settings and, and everything else. The quality is amazing, uh, the sound is amazing, but you can also add it to your home screen. That makes it super simple and easy. So my parents always ask questions about a phone and they need help. I can just hit on this and basically show them what to do. Now, if I need to add in my, my voice on top of it, then again, just go inside of your GoodLock 2019, go down to where it says nice shot, go back to your screen recording, and then the record sound, you can put it to system sounds and mic. So this way they can also hear you speak and give direction and why you're hitting certain things. Other than that, I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here to this very bottom circle down over in the bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.